I have to roll that up literally every time I shoot because if I don't, the wind will blow it and it'll make weird paper noises the entire video. Welcome back to the video. It is Saturday and it is a very, very pretty day outside. Maybe I'll overlay some B-roll clips to show you how pretty it is in Texas right now. So I'm trying to bring out a little bit more of my personality in these videos, cut less things and just keep more of my dialogue in it so that it's more natural and not super clean cut and edited. So with that being said, I want to start this video off by telling you guys a little story from my childhood. So when the first iPhone was released, I was still very, very young. I would say around six to seven, I think was the age I was at. I didn't know that the iPhones don't take SD cards. When my dad got the iPhone, I took it from him and because I, I wanted to play with it. I was into tech at a very young age. And so I looked all around the phone to put in an SD card so I can add all my music, all my photos, all those different things. So I somehow managed to figure out how to take the two screws off the bottom and take off the screen. And while doing that, the ribbons came off. And so for three days, I hid my dad's phone and I cried. And so long story short, I figured out that the ribbons had come out and I figured out how to put them back in. And again, this was before people were doing how to fix iPhone screens on YouTube. That wasn't a thing yet. This was the first iPhone out. So I figured out how to do it. I fixed the phone. I put the screws back in. And that was the beginning of my tech career and my tech journey uh, with fixing and creating things. So that's a little short story for me, but now with that being said, we're gonna dive into today's video. So something that I've been interested in is how to use my AirPods to monitor the audio coming out of my camera. Now the reason why that's so difficult is because these guys connect to a phone or to a Bluetooth device. They don't necessarily connect to a camera. They're not made to do that. So I did a roundabout way of figuring out how to connect these guys to my camera. And with that, I'm also gonna be telling you guys a few pros and cons to using something like this whenever you're trying to monitor the audio coming out of your camera. So first, let's start off with the devices needed to make this work. So I did a little bit of research and I basically had to find an item that would allow me to connect these to it through Bluetooth and then have an aux out into a headphone jack. So I looked around on Amazon and I found this device and it was surprisingly very, very cheap. And there are many of these devices that are very, very cheap. Now the important thing to know whenever buying this is to make sure that it has the latest gen Bluetooth so that you can have those fast connection speeds, but also you will have low latency. And if you guys aren't sure about that or if you're uncomfortable trying to find that out, just buy the same one that I have in the link below in the description. So this is the device that I got and as you can see it's very very small which is great because we're going to be mounting this to our camera in some way or form. Now most cameras you have this mounting on the top of the camera that you can use to mount microphones and etc. So this is where I wanted to mount this device. However as you can see this device doesn't come with a cold shoe on it. So just like I talked about at the beginning of this video in my little story I had to do a little DIY to figure out how to fix this problem and come up with a solution. So I found this little device that was laying around in my studio. However, for you guys who don't have anything like this laying around, I'll leave a link below in the description so that you can find something very similar to this. So to attach this to the device, I used a bolt and I hot glued it to the back of the device and then I hot glued the bolt to that cold shoe so that I can mount it onto my camera. Now like I was saying before, that mounting spot on your camera is typically used for your microphone. So in most cases, I still plan to use my microphone right there. So what I had to do was basically buy the same type of mount to mount onto my cage of my camera. Luckily, small rig sells exactly what I needed for this to work. So after attaching that to my camera, like you can see on the screen now, it was super duper simple and easy to put this up and basically plug the cord into the headphone jack and right into the device. And it really doesn't add a lot to the camera, which is very, very good because whenever you're vlogging or doing shoots like I needed this device for, you don't want a lot of bulk or a lot of extra accessories hanging off of your camera. So to pair this device, it was even easier. All you have to do is turn on that top switch, which is right here, just like that. And then you want to take your AirPods and that button right on the back of your AirPods, you just want to hold that. 
and after holding it you can see on the screen that my airpods pop up and all i do is hit ok and then i'm connected and it's that easy it's really simple and easy to connect so in conclusion, here's what I think about this device. So I definitely wouldn't be using this device for every shoot that I do. The reason for that is because you're using Bluetooth, which is a wireless connection, you're still gonna have some form of latency. So the situations or the shoots that I would like to use this device with is whenever I'm shooting weddings, whenever I'm shooting something where I need that ambient audio, or whenever I'm doing some type of segment wherever I'm following someone and I have two lavaliers plugged in, to be able to just have that flexibility of not having cords everywhere connected to me is gonna be great. Now another very practical situation is whenever I'm over here recording and I have my microphone up here, I do have my levels on the screen which I can make adjustments to, but it's always nice to be able to hear what audio is being picked up around the microphone as well, other than my voice, so that maybe I can throw up a sound blanket over here or do something different over here. Or maybe I forgot and I left my heater on. And so whenever I put my headphones in, I'm able to hear that super quick. But as you can see, there's a little bit of space between where the camera is and where I'm standing. And so I really need to have a longer cord to be able to reach all the way from over there to there to listen. So being able to have these AirPods will make it super duper quick and easy to be able to just check my audio really, really quickly before I start recording. So that's all that I have for this video today. And if you guys have any ideas of how I can bring my personality out quite a bit more in these videos, please comment below in the comment section and I'll be talking to you guys down there as well. And, and until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.